Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Suspidia Truder. Welcome back to Fallout 2. Well, last time, we made it here to Reading, and this is where things are going to start getting a bit on the complicated side, I suspect. Because up to now, we've been finding towns where there's pretty simple solutions to their problems. There are two towns, they hate each other. Right, let's make them like each other. But in Reading, things are a lot more political. This town is being pulled between New Reno, between the NCR, between Vault City. And I'm guessing, before all said and done, I'm gonna need to make a choice. But first, I'm having fun pretending I'm the sheriff with my lovely badge right here, and I need to solve the case of a mutilated prostitute. The only clue being a bit of script from one of the mines to the north of the town. However, I suspect that might be a bit of a false clue. If you wanted to frame someone from the other mine, the one thing you'd do would be put the company script at the scene of the crime. So, uh, we'll see about that. But first, it's time to start figuring out what's actually going on here with all of the big players in town. Because painless Doc Johnson over here, he's apparently the big advocate for Vault City. In fact, we've been told there's a good chance he might effectively be a spy embedded here by Vault City to bring these guys into a permanent alliance. And the Doctor apparently has an assistant called Rat who doesn't really speak in proper sentences. Right. What's Rat's deal? He is a bedraggled wretch, right? Rat bad, but nice dog to take good care of him anyway. Yes, well, see that your chores get done. Right, so I can't even speak to Rat. Okay, I don't like you, you appear to have a slave. So, the doctor understandably works as a doctor. He might also be a shop as well. Might be able to provide you with some supplies. Uh, let's see what you've got in trade. Fine, so he works as a normal shop, gotcha. Ooh, la -dee da super stim packs, very fancy. Other than that, just some basics. Got some Mentats, got an anti-venom, got ourselves a handful of stim packs, but I'm swimming in stim packs right now. May as well sell him something for that $123. Here we go, got some guns to offload. So I'll sell that and I'll also take a handful more stim packs because you can never have too many stim packs. So, let's get his take on things, because I suspect he's going to start immediately talking about how great Vault City is, and how he would just love it if Vault City in this place were to become exclusive best friends. Lately, it seems as though more miners are spending their time flying on jet than mining. If this keeps up, Reading's gold production will come to a halt. New Reno doesn't seem to mine, though. Aha! Now this is starting to make sense. We were told uh, this place had gone a bit suspiciously quiet, less and less gold uh, being shipped over in the direction of Vault City. And now we know why. There's a drug epidemic here, causing problems with productivity. Except, of course, New Reno doesn't mind. Because even if the total amount of gold being mined goes down, if everybody's addicted to chems, they're going to have no choice but to do a deal with New Reno to get more chems, because that's where the chems come from. If they can just squeeze out the NCR and Vault City... As a result of that, there'll be more gold available for New Reno, even if less gold's being produced overall. Very clever. So somebody's flooding this market with drugs to try and basically secure exclusivity that way. And yes, indeed, the Doctor pretty much confirms my theory right there. So I'm guessing you're going to start saying that Vault City would be a better bet. Well, everybody wants a part of the gold here in Reading, so we're going to be controlled by somebody eventually. I just want to have a master that's going to do the best job for Reading. And it's going to be Vault City, isn't it? The way I see it, Reading's best chance is with Vault City controlling things around here. That's where I'm from, so I might be biased, but I really do think that Vault City can do a better job of helping the citizens of Reading. Well, on the plus side, he's not lying about it. Well, he's saying he's from Vault City. He's not admitting he's a spy or he's been embedded, but he's very open about this fact. He's not trying to hide us or anything, so... Uh, Fair enough, let's have an explanation here. They handle Vault City in a just and humane manner. No, they don't. There's mass widespread slavery. So if they're going to do the same for Reading, that's not good, actually. That's not good at all. So, okay, I don't really want Vault City in charge because they would basically implement class-based slavery. And I don't really want New Reno in charge because they're getting people hooked on cheap drugs to control them. I'm sure the NCR is doing something evil as well, but... I'm skewing towards NCR right now. And I can indeed call them out. They treat non-citizens like dirt, as you well know. 
That's nonsense. Vault City does extend special privileges to citizens, but only because they're better qualified to enjoy those things than brutish non-citizens. Besides, everyone can qualify for Vault City citizenship if they pass the test. Right, you know that's nonsense. One, brutish non-citizens. That's just unpleasant. And two, the citizenship test is pretty much set up so it's impossible to pass. I only managed to get citizenship by doing a deal under the table. So, uh, you, sir are a liar. And he thinks that people would realise the benefits soon enough. I'm certain that they'll welcome Vault City's administration with open arms eventually. Right, okay, so that's a no to you. Got it. And if I ask him about the state of exports, because we know that is down, too much jet, not enough work. Where did you hear that from? Yeah, McClure over in Vault City. I chatted to him about that. I know McClure is on the Vault City Council. What did he tell you? Mine production is way down, gold prices way up. Naturally, of course, less supply, same level of demand, prices are going to rise. Ah, but here's two interesting bits of information if we ask after the jet trade in more detail. So it comes not just from New Reno, but from one particular family, the Mordino family. Right, remember that, that's going to be important. We don't need necessarily to bring down all of New Reno to sort some of the local problems around here, but... If we could bring down one particular family, we might be able to sort things out a little bit. Keep that in mind. Mordino family, probably bad. They're responsible for the jet trade and uh, it doesn't seem like it's a good trade. But this guy is not innocent in all of this. It comes to town in bulk packages. He's the one that actually ends up selling it once it's been shoved in needles or whatever. So uh, as a result of that, yeah, he's actually making a tidy profit out of all of this. Okay, he claims he does it at cost, and he only does it because otherwise someone who didn't know what they were doing would do it, and then dirty needles, disease spreading like rampant. Okay, fair enough. I'm not sure I believe him, but that does at least make sense. But he is taking money from somebody, the two mine owners. Who are they? Drew something and Marge LaBarge, I think. So uh, they're paying him to make sure the miners keep working. And if someone else handles the jet so it's impure or cut incorrectly or just administered wrong in some capacity, then yeah, the miners would work less well. So he's keeping drugs flowing into the town, but if he didn't, someone else would. So he's keeping the drugs... Is this a good guy or not? I don't know if he's a good guy or not. I'm morally confused by you. I will however help myself to a couple of nice first aid books on his shelves and oh yeah, medical supplies. Have all of this, thank you. Right, one other bit of town I haven't actually been to yet. Escorty's Ace and City Hall. So, Escorty, the mayor, and the man who hasn't really picked a side in this so far. He doesn't know who he wants to back, and ooh, what a very nice little casino you've got going on here. Right, yes, I'm definitely feeling like there's a connection between Reading and New Vegas, given multiple factions want to control this place. It's very, very rich indeed. There's a massive casino at the centre of it, diddly diddly dee. And you can actually put bets on the table. This is apparently a craps table. I have no idea what the rules of craps are, but I'm going to bet $5. Go on then. Sorry, better luck next time. I'm going to bet $5 again. I'm going to keep betting $5 until I hit 1000 And uh, as it turns out, this seems to be a very good way to lose money. I'm just going to stop betting. And one of the bodyguards wants a word nice and quick. So I just wanted to say thanks again for doing the right thing by Mrs. Rooney. I sure didn't want to kick that old gal out of her home. And that's nice. They seem to think I'm doing the right thing here. So this is all good stuff. And apparently that's the mayor. This must be Escorty right here. Gotcha. And obviously he's glad. He just got his money, which otherwise he wouldn't have got at all. Right, so this here is Escorty himself. Proprietor and mayor. Lovely. So I'm guessing he's going to have some form of big quest for me. Because, you know, generally the big important people in town do have quests for you. And he has indeed heard of the Gek, and he knows that Vault City was made out of one, so he's relatively well informed, but doesn't know where I might find one these days. And confirmation as to what the docs told us as well, gold shipments are down, because yeah, the drug addiction is starting to get out of hand in town, so I probably ought to try and sort that out at some point. And he doesn't have a job for me himself, but he is pointing me in the right direction. So Sheriff and the two mine owners. So they're up north, I need to go and speak to them next. I'm already dealing with this Sheriff, so good, good, good. Tell me about the mine owners though, because I haven't actually run into them yet. 
So, Dangerous Dan McGrew, that was his name at Morningstar. So, him or one of his minors, them are prime suspects right now, though I suspect some form of foul play, actually. And then Marge Labarge and Coco Wee, fine. They're both just north of the downtown area, across from the graveyard. Lovely. Here we go. If I just ask him what he does in town, however, he handles deeds, property... And he says he's got a Jim Dandy of a deed for sale, which means good, I believe, but that's a little bit too positive. I'm already suspecting a con here. So, what's this deed you're selling? It's the deed to the great Wanamingo mine. Oh, I know what a Wanamingo is. Uh, those are those rather tough alien creatures. So I'm guessing it's full of them. Yeah, that's why you're selling me a mine for only $1,000. And I'm really glad I didn't go below $1,000 in the gambling, too. Yeah, you're actually selling me a mine that's full of monsters. Now, if I try and call him out, does he actually admit it? No catch, no catch at all. You just have to evict some of the squatters that have taken up residence there. No hardship at all for a rugged customer like yourself. I can tell you more if you'd like. Yeah, tell me more. Are you going to admit that it's full of monsters? Yeah, critters in there. They need to be killed before anyone will work in the mine. If you were to buy the deed and then kill off the critters infesting it... I'd happily buy the deed back off you for a nice profit. But alright, if you've got the deed to a mine that you could just actually clear out yourself, why just do that and not take the loss on buying the deed back in the first place? I can't really do that, I'm not a real danger-seeking kind of guy, I know my strengths and fighting just isn't one of them. Fair enough, I suppose. And he'll pay me back more than double, so over $2,000. So pretty much I can double my money if I just clear out some Wanamingos. And I have run into Wanamingos. They're tough, but I can handle them with my team. So, uh, yeah, you know what? This seems like a fair enough deal. And I can actually put my final dollar in the world into this here slot machine. Go on then. And you are broke. You are forced to call it a night. Right. Well, that's fine. I just need to find a shop to sell all my worldly possessions. Which sounds bad, but that is what you do inside Fallout. And hello. There's a yeah. A manhole cover back over there. His office is guarded, but I know how to get into it. And better and better, the guy who's right here. Oh, wow, he's got loads of money. Oh, this is perfect. I've got so much stuff to sell you. There we go. Get rid of the hunting rifle, because honestly, it just doesn't seem that good. Desert Eagle, sawn off shotgun, a handful of plants I've been carrying around too. Anything else I need to get rid of? Honestly, six anti-venoms is probably extreme, but better to have too much than not enough. Yeah, I think we're okay other than that. So, we now know where one of the secret back entrances via the sewers actually comes out up here. And I feel like there's got to be something good uh, inside, yeah, this bookshelf or this desk. Right, let's go figure that out. And I was kind of assuming the same thing would be true over here into, yeah, the bar and brothel. And yet... I don't see a way up here. Is this locked by any chance? No, it's not. So we can just rob this place blind. Beautiful. Well, not much, but I'll take $21 inside the desk. So back down in the tunnels, we've already cleared these guys out, which is lovely. And now we know where this comes up. So it's going to lead right up to where I want to be. Beautiful. Now we just want to, you know what? I probably want to sneak, actually. Because uh, there's someone right there who I don't want to actually be aware of me. So just... No, don't start running. Bloody hell. Luckily, no one can hear my footsteps. So that's good. Uh, and I can have myself... Ooh, guns and bullets. More skill box. I'll help myself to more skill box. And uh, this guy's desk right here. Sadly, nothing there. But I will gladly take a guns and bullets. So, back down into the basement... The question then is, yeah, we've got ourselves a, a big tunnel running up in this direction that seems to just go off the top of the map. So, uh, logically, that's going towards the north of town. And then we've got ourselves a little side room over here that strikes me as, yeah, it should be broadly in line with where I would expect the, uh, yeah, the brothel and bar to be. But it doesn't seem to be. Let's just see if there's a load zone up here at the very north tunnel, the one that looks like it should run up here, because uh, I can't quite see whether there's actually a zone up here, but I'd like to see what's going on this side of the tunnels. Yes, indeed there is. There's something more in this direction. So this should be, presumably, below one of the mines, and uh, there are indeed some Wanamingos floating around. Together with some mole rats, that's less of a problem, to be honest. And a ladder 
leading up somewhere, probably, in, in fact, actually multiple ladders. Right, you know what? Let's just clear this out because it's good XP, especially the mole rats. They're easy pickings. And actually, there's even more around here. Right, so there's a massive network of tunnels underneath the town here. Ah, yes, and uh, guns and bullets. Can I even read that anymore? Am I actually allowed to? Yeah, I don't actually gain anything out of that. Right, well, I'll read the first aid book because I need to remember to first aid occasionally. So I've learned new ways to heal injury. Lovely. Right, first, guys, Wanamingos need to go down. And this is what I wanted. One of the Wanamingos has seen me. The other one hasn't done so yet. So, uh, and how much health did these guys have? I don't know because he's hidden behind a wall. I think it wasn't much, so... Yeah, maybe like 100 hit points, so... Uh, 6 hit points. That is low on the damage range. Take another shot at him, just because... Uh, yeah, there we go. Critical for 12. Uh, there is a nice burst fire, but Sulik missed. The other one is unfortunately coming in right now. Uh, Sulik gets another shot, and misses repeatedly. But, somebody did actually manage to hit the Wanamingo, so I think Sulik might have hit with that second shot there. Or possibly that was Vic, I'm not sure. Okay, how likely am I to, say, get a hit on the eyes or whatever? Not much yet, it's a bit too far off, and it's dark. So, uh, instead, I'm just going to go for two normal shots against this thing. Let's just clear out one of them if we can. Five. This thing, I think, has got some decent damage resistance on it, actually. So, it's coming at me. And oh, blimey! How much did that just do? 16, but it was a critical, so that's unfortunate. Okay, that was a critical right there. That was a hit for no damage. Right, these guys have got some serious damage threshold on them. Got it. Right, I need to move away. I'm surrounded, and enemies do seem to like prioritizing the player. So I need to move uh, maybe one, two, three, and then take a single aimed shot at one of them. No, I need to move only two. Right, in which case I'm just going to move even further away. Because right now I'm a little bit... Oh no, I don't want to be standing right in front of... I really don't want to be standing in front of uh, Sulik right now. Because he's going to murder me. Okay, one more. They're coming over to me. They have got so many action points. And another critical. Okay, they've got a crazy... A third critical. They've got a crazy high critical rate. Right, at least one of them's been knocked to the ground. So that's good. Right, one critical to this one, right in the eye holes, and that was not critical, that was only 8 damage. Right, uh, move more in this direction, keep going, it's going to keep stabbing me, but I've got loads of stim packs, and for once it didn't get a critical. And oh, well done right there, good work, good work, right, so uh, Sulik is doing, yeah, no damage at all. So that is at, wow, 160 hit points, that's, that's more than I thought. Okay, these guys are actually a bit tougher than I thought they were. I think these guys might be tougher Wanamingos than we met down in the world, because I swear they were not this bad before. Maybe it's just because there's two of them. What I'm going to do is uh, take another shot at the wounded one, right in the eye hole, and that did 36. That's what we needed to do. Now I'm going into my inventory, and I'm going to reload and do some stim packs. Oh, quick pockets, you are amazing. So, stim pack number one, and stim pack number two. And I've still got two points left over, so get out of the way of Sulik and the fact he's very likely about to start murdering with burst fire. And Sulik, I really need you to burst fire right now, because, oh, I'm just being wailed on. Okay, guys, uh, please stop burst firing. Oh, that was good. That was some good stuff. And well done! Well flipping done right there. 43 hit points. That's what we need to see. Now there's only one of them. I'm feeling much better about life. So now, just in the eye hole, did you just miss? Well done, you bloody genius. Right, lead on a merry dance. I think you can only attack once after it moves. So, we should be better. Please don't shoot me, by the way. Please don't shoot me. Right, reload. And nobody actually does anything else. Right, once again, more attacks, please. 86 in the eyes, right in the eye hole, right there, critical for 52 and knocked down, so it's going to have less action points. So probably if I just start running at this point, it won't be able to attack me this round. Although if I can actually go through my... No, my companions are kind of blocking my escape there, well done guys. And also it's down on the ground so it can't avoid anymore, and there we go, it's actually been taken care of. Good! Good, good, good. Bit on the dangerous side when there's two of them, but nothing we can... Excuse me. Guys, there's... There's one right there. 
Are we concerned about the fact there's one right there and we decided not to bother killing it? Am I allowed to just end combat? I feel like... Guys, are we 100% sure about this? Well, I'll do one stim pack to get my health back and I've reloaded the gun. Somehow we kind of shot the knowledge of us existing out of its head, which is interesting. Still, at least it means it's back at range, so I can get a couple of nice easy shots against it. So that was a miss. And that was... Oh, that must have been a critical right there. 24, loving the criticals. Uh, it now gets up. It's going to keep retreating. Right, I think it wants this fight to be over. Sorry, this fight's not over. You are going to die now. Yeah, at this point, I'm just shooting it in the back over and over again. I'm starting to feel sorry for it. But not too sorry, because it lives in a den full of human bones. So I really am doing the world a favour here. Plus, at 600 XP a go, this is a great way to level up right here. Nothing on the corpse I can sell, though, unfortunately. Right, next bit's nice and easy. Mole rats. This should just be target practice at this point. If they just want to run at me, that's fine. That just means I've got a better shot at them. So, are you going to die in one hit now? And not quite, actually. So, that is... Sorry, it is a pig rat, not a mole rat. So, it's 18 damage, 26. So, two shots will kill these guys. Gotcha. Even if I get really unlucky on the damage range, two shots should do it. Though they do seem to have plenty of action points, or at least plenty of movement points, so uh, they can get a handful of good hits in. Uh, be careful of that at least. And uh, there we go. Well done. Mutated pig rat for another five. Uh, mutated. Does that mean you're tougher? No, same toughness as the last one. So uh, one hit should... Did you just miss? 95% chance to hit. Don't miss. And we're just firing in on these guys. Uh, might get in one swipe. That one on the left might get in a single swipe. And uh, yeah, just one. But with my armor, no, it missed anyway. That's absolutely fine. Sulik, please do not fire while I'm standing right in front of you. It makes me very, very nervous. So uh, that one can go down. And if you guys would like to do the rest, there we go. Vermin is indeed being taken out nice and fast. Honestly, they can't get through my armor. Right, first bunch go down nice and easy for 540 XP. May as well just clear out the remainder just so I know this cave is totally safe. They'll run at me momentarily. They'll actually get one or two swipes in there. Sorry, didn't realize you were so close. So just, how are you so terrible? No, you did actually hit that one. Just for some reason, it didn't look like you responded to it. And okay, you're a bit tougher than your friends. No, don't shoot when I'm... I have given you specific instructions on this. I have told you, don't shoot unless you're really confident you're not going to hit me. Yet you keep shooting me. Stop it. Right, I'm going to try first aiding myself here because that's worth XP. And I am better at that these days. Uh, I heal one hit point. One. One hit point. Marvellous. Going to do that again or am I on cooldown now? And... Uh, I heal three hit points. Oh, marvellous. You know what? Screw it. Because Sulik's an idiot, we're now going to spend the next week living in this cave. Right, three more taken out just in this corner over here. And I believe that is this cave entirely cleared out. So, time to see where this brings me up. Because it should be, presumably, somewhere in the mines up to the north of the town. Aha, here we go. So, number one, there is actually a well right here. So, that is one of the entrances. And I'm guessing down over here we're going to have... Yeah, there's the green transition zone. So, that'll lead me back into town. And this area is quite large and also features pens. Why are there pens with barbed wire fences? Why am I suddenly suspicious of this community? The fact they've got a shed on the edge of town with green goo and just random smoking glowing rocks doesn't cheer me up either. Because, yeah, this is supposed to be gold, not uranium or whatever. Not that uranium's like that, but then I'm guessing this is Fallout. Possibly uranium in Fallout is like that. Anyway, there's Coco Reef Mine times two. Probably the mine itself and also like the admin building or something. And there's Morningstar, gotcha. And aha, uh -huh, I'm guessing those pens are for mole rats. For the mole rat mambo, which I'm guessing is, yeah, just like cockfights, but with mole rats. Right, well, let's start asking around here, figure out what's going on precisely. In fact, actually, we'd better wait until morning, which I believe is only, yeah, 8 a.m. So uh, let's just make sure everyone's actually out and about here, because sometimes at night, people have, you know, gone to bed, because the game's rather realistic in some ways. Wait until noon for the fights. Right now, leave me alone. 
Okay, so at noon, there's going to be some form of big fight with all these mole rats. And there we go, that'll be the losers over there, I suppose. Well, no reason not to see what's going on here. So, Pip-Boy, now just wait until noon, please. And apparently, we get to see the show. So here we go. It's now noon. Doesn't seem to be a show. Hang on, are you sure you meant noon? Oh, hang on, no. She is moving. That's the woman we spoke to. Are you about to go and kick off the show by any chance? Because if so, I'm going to be honest, the amount of people that show up for your show is kind of terrible. Ah, wait, hang on. Do you run the show and maybe take bets? Here we go, Jackpot Jane. So I run the beast fights here in town, here to place a bet. Go on then, sure, I'm guessing Mole Rat versus Mole Rat, but how do I know which one's going to win if they look identical and I have no information about them? Two beasts, you can take a close look at both of them, then you place a bet. Okay, interesting. So I put down money, double it if my critter wins, triple if he wins in the first round, and if my critter loses, obviously the money goes to her. And all bets are $100. You know what? I'm swimming in money right now. We're going to be doing this. So Muttley is up against Shredder, and they just hate each other. Watch your bet. And... I thought I got to examine them, but she's not giving me the chance to. Right, so Shred is the obvious pick, so no, I'm going to put money on Muttley. So here we go. Let's see how this goes here. Which one's, which one's actually which? Because I don't actually have my cursor anymore. So, in they come. They're attacking each other in 2D isometric vision. And yep, they're just vaguely poking each other in the face. I'm going to be honest, this isn't quite as thrilling or dynamic or exciting as you kind of made out. They're just kind of vaguely pouring at each other. And also, I don't think I've got any way of knowing which one's which. So, who actually won there? So a mole rat fighter was hit for 64 hit points and was killed. I don't actually know whether I won or not. In fact, yeah, if she just told me that was Muttley that lost, I have no way of disproving her. Because they're both just labelled as mole rat fighter. Right, alright then, uh, did I win? And Escort is going to be running a special on stakes tonight. It'll just be a moment while we drag the loser from the field. Muttley wins this fight, let me pay everyone off and we'll start the next round. Woohoo, I won. So that's nice. Uh, was it a first round knockout technically or not? No, because I've gone from 2,900, handing over 100, and I've got 200 back so I'm just over 3,000. So... Okay, the fights can't be too staged because I did just win one. So that's nice, but I probably won't be doing any more of it. Right, next up, yeah, we got ourselves a bar and also a caravan office. Okay, that's on the interesting side because uh, bear in mind, the reason I'm supposed to be here is, hey, are you by any chance the caravan that traded this Vault 13 flask? So uh, it's possible it might be this guy who can give me a lead to the vault. I'm going to be honest, I was expecting it to be in New Reno, because New Reno's like the furthest away and also the biggest, or... Well, actually, no, it's not the biggest. The NCR's the biggest. Right, it'll probably be in the NCR then. Ah, now, here's interesting. The caravan office is actually willing to tell me the local view on the various factions, or at least this guy's view on them. But on top of that, he might actually act as basically like a fast travel surface. So, Ben Wade heads out there on the first of each month. Because, yeah, I can check what the local date is in my Pip-Boy. So if I just wait till the first of the month, I can basically... Well, I don't know. Maybe I'd get an escort. Maybe I'd fast travel directly there. Basically, might be a shortcut to get back over there if I needed to in a hurry. And if I want to go to New Reno, that seems to be, yeah, the 21st of each month. But there's also the implication that while the families are all fighting each other, and we've heard of the Mordinos already, yeah... If these guys were to actually work together, they could be something special. So I'm guessing there's a bit of a Redding-style power struggle going on over there. Redding's being pulled in multiple directions, New Reno in the direction of multiple families. So I might need to pick a family I want to run the show, or bring them all down in favour of the NCR, potentially. We'll see, I'm not sure, that's just my prediction anyway. And on the 11th of the month, we can get a caravan over to the NCR. So 1st, 11th and 21st if I want to take a bit of a shortcut. But honestly, I've already got them on my map and I've already got a car, so I don't really need this guy's help. Now, before we hit the mines themselves, yeah, we got ourselves the saloon. Because often, bartenders are very good source of information indeed. So uh, let's just have a little chat with them. And hopefully that's not a real corpse in that coffin right there. Okay, you guys are really into the coffin-related decorations. This is a bit on the creepy side. 
And this guy's name is Josh Lawrence. He owns this place. And I would like to buy a drink for everybody here because sometimes that does seem to open up some friendly interactions with the town folks. So uh, there we are. $50 for a round of beer for everyone in the house. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. There we go. So that's absolutely fine. Here's your money. Thank you kindly. Anything else for you? Uh, yeah, there might just be. I'm not sure. Mostly my business is kind of quiet, still as the grave, you might say. Though lately that doesn't mean so much. Ooh, do you have grave robbing going on? I've been spending time reburying people in the graveyard next door. Someone or something keeps digging them up. Don't know why. I mean, it ain't like they've got anything valuable on them. So probably random creatures for meat, if I had to guess. Every week or so, one or another of the graves is all poured and half dug up like. Don't rightly know what would do that. Does seem a bit on the strange side. So disturbing's what it is. Now miners are telling me they'd rather rest out their final days here inside rather than get planted only to be pulled back up like an overripe turnip. Hell, I wouldn't mind saving the cute ones inside, but not everyone. I don't know what to do about it. Right, so... Okay, one, you're weird. Two, let's actually get this sorted out. Other than that, nothing here as far as I can tell. So before we go and actually investigate the mines themselves, let's just nip next door to the graveyard, which is presumably, yeah, this transition zone over here. No, actually, there's some massive building here, and also I've just been drawn into combat. Hang on, what's attacking me and why? Oh, it's just a rat. Dear, oh dear, nothing major there at all. Right, big old pile of pest control later, nothing but rats and pig rats and mole rats and whatever. Yeah, this house right here, this has got a door that's the only way to actually get round the fencing by the loopsy of it. Though, uh, I'm a little bit suspicious of the fact there's so many radiation barrels around here. I might be about to take a load of rats, but that's fine. If I get irradiated, I do have plenty of rat away. So, what's going on in here? And is this... Wait, hang on, is this... Is this my mine? This might be the way down to the Wanamingo mine. I'm not sure if this is the mine I just purchased. Also, was there a door here the whole time? Yeah, there was just a door here the whole time. I just didn't realise that was there. So that's good. That's good right there. Right, I think I found my mine. Well, may as well go down and see what's going on inside my mine. I mean, there could be anything in the Wanamingo mine. Any number of possible enemies. Probably Wanamingos, though. Yeah, I figured it might be Wanamingos. Right, so I'm immediately being attacked the moment I arrived. In fact, I've just basically been sucker punched. So that's good. That's just great right there. Um, okay, so... Oh, there's eggs. Right, there's plenty of eggs. Right, shoot it in the eye. Did you just miss? Okay, so this is off to a great start right here. Right, well, in which case, just end my turn for the bonus of aid. Would someone else like to shoot this thing, ideally knocking it off its feet? So that was good amounts of damage, and yeah, these things have got damage threshold. I need to change over the weapons a bit, because Sulik's doing nothing right now. Also, I suspect there's more of them. Oh yeah, I am just being sucker punched. That was 32 critical, and it is just wailing on me right now. Somebody please finish it off, because I am dying. Um, Vic? Vic, where are you going? Why are you running over there, Vic? Why, of all the things you could do, would you be running over there right now? And it's, it's just continually stealing action points from me by knocking me over. You've just done no damage with a spray attack, haven't you? Right, okay, so, it's got damage threshold up the wazoo, and there's two more of them coming, and then a third. Because apparently they've got really, really, really good hearing. Okay, so I'm starting to detect the problem here, yes. Oh, we've got something here. Metal Armor Mark II, if I can get over to it. And also a bunch of ladders, though. I'm not sure where they would come up to, because those are ladders up. So, not sure where they're going precisely. I'm going to give Sulik the 14mm pistol, which the comments told me he's actually pretty good with. He can use that just fine. And I've used combat control to make sure he's actually using the damn thing. I'll go over, meanwhile, to the shotgun, which should still be able to do quite a bit to these guys, because it's still, yeah, 12 to 22 damage range. And as for Vic, he can stay with his shotgun too. So I've borrowed about half of his ammo to make sure we're both still fully loaded. And if I need to... I've still got the assault rifle. I'm not sure whether the burst will do that much, but it might do something. Right, let's try going down again. Hopefully, this new loadout will work a fair bit better. And once again, yeah, it's just really bad luck. The moment the fight begins, uh, 
you just get immediately sucker punched by that bastard. So you lose a fair bit of health immediately, which just feels unfair, quite frankly, but at least he's standing at point blank range. So shotgun right in the eyes for you. Two hit points damage. Okay, possibly the shotgun plan wasn't a good plan. Right, stim pack, reload, end my turn for bonus dodge. Everyone else have a go too. So that's 22, that's 7. Okay, we are doing some damage to it, but this thing is, yeah, because it's the silver one, it's got a lot of flipping health. Everyone just stay here, keep trying to critical it. If we can just take out its eyes, it seems to be a lot less dangerous. But yeah, it just keeps knocking me over, which is very unfortunate. Still, on the plus side, it didn't get a critical on that occasion. And now, yes, yeah, Sulix actually getting some good hits in. I'm going to try and go for, yeah, the critical again. Because this seems like it should be perfect conditions for a shotgun. Right? Oh, that's what I wanted. 70 hit points. Yes, that makes up for it. So, now I have damaged its eyes or air intake or something. So, it's now also down on the ground. You know what? Screw it. Keep healing. This is working. Good. I'm glad about that. The problem is, those two are, yeah, they're still coming in. But those are the softer ones. If we can just take out the silver one before the softer ones show up, we should be okay. And now it's on the ground. Everyone else, open up on it. Just go for those aim shots. Knock out its legs. Knock out its groin spout. Knock out its head bulge. Whatever the hell it's got. Somebody. No, Vic, why are you doing this? Why would you run ahead into the two aliens? Don't do that. That's just stupid. That's really, really damn stupid. How much health does it have, by the way? It's got itself. No, that's goo. I can't check its health because it's hidden. Yeah, okay. So sometimes the isometric viewpoint is not helpful. Uh, keep going for the big shots against it. Now we've actually taken out the eyes. Uh, go for the groin socket. And right in the groin socket for you. So now I have... Oh, that was critical hit for six. Maybe I should have just gone for the eyes again. Next time, just go for the eyes again. If Vic dies after this promising start, I'm going to be so annoyed at him, by the way. I've just got to take out the big lad before he gets up. Right to the eyes! And two hit points. Yeah, the difference between critical and non-critical with this shotgun seems to be pretty bloody extreme, actually. And I still... I still don't know how much health it's got. I've no clue. Right, let's just actually run forwards here. I need to be ready to actually, yeah, get a view of this guy. So, uh, there he is. Uh, 70. And uh, apparently this is the queen. Right. Was this not the way I was supposed to come in? Was that like a different way to come in? Oh, I think I just came in through the Skyrim door. I'm so sorry. That's really embarrassing. That would explain why it's standing right there ready to sucker punch me. This is the end of the dungeon. Gotcha. Now, Vic... Please do not die. We're actually doing okay. The queen seems to be down on the ground doing nothing. And Vic, Vic, please, come on. Just don't do this, Vic. Don't do this to me. Is that a third one or is that the second? I think that's just the second. Vic, don't, Vic, just, just run. Run back. What did you just pull out? That is not your shotgun. Right, the queen is just running away at this point. Good. Vic, where are you going? Why are you doing this? What is your plan right now? Okay, all I want to do is kill these two. Then we're going to retreat back above ground. And then two of them will be dead. Meaning they won't be here next time. And we can figure out what the hell's wrong with Vic. This whole time, Sulik hasn't actually taken any damage whatsoever. It's just me that's taking the damage. Alright, fine, whatever. Right, more aimed shots, please. And uh, 86. Take it. Please kill it. Is it dead? Please, it's dead. Okay, it is dead. One of them's dead. They're ignoring Vic. Why are they ignoring Vic? Well, there's too many of them now. This is getting crowded. We're going. We're just flipping going. Get back to the lift, please. All right? We're going to go. We're going to regroup. We're going to heal up. And then we're going to come down again. Hopefully, we should be doing okay. I think damage does actually hang about here. So, yes, let's go. Let's just flip and go. Guys, back above ground. So, Vic, how about me and you have a chat about the fact you've decided to use a knife during the middle of a Wanamingo fight? Because I can't help but notice you're still holding a shotgun and 90 shells for it. And even if that had run out, you've got yourself access to a Magnum Revolver, 
and a giant pile of ammo for that too. And if you did get yourself injured, you've got three stim packs right there. You stupid bastard, why do you hate me? Right, I'm taking the knives. They're being confiscated. You can't be trusted with them anymore. He now has no choice but to use guns, because he doesn't have anything else. There we go. Use best weapon. That's a good idea when you're in combat. Right, party healed up again. Nice bit of camping inside this abandoned place. Everybody back downstairs. But this time, the secret Vic is that you're going to use your weapon, heal when wounded, and not run off screaming into a cave full of monsters with a knife. Now once again, the queen is back- No, that's not the queen! Hello, who are you precisely? Because you ain't the queen. And are you actually... Right, okay. Wanamingo not thrilled about us. Where's... Where's the queen gone? There's the queen! Now is the queen still wounded? No, she's recovered her health, but she does have crippled limbs. So as a result of that, yes, yeah, some of these guys are actually... They're carrying the scars in terms of crippled limbs or whatever. I'll take it. That's fine. So now, open up on this guy. If we're lucky... Yes, yeah, six hit points. Sadly, we did not get the cripple there. That's absolutely fine. Just reload and wait. We're at point blank range. Hopefully, Vic should be able to do something. Vic, do not mess this up. That's right, the shotgun. Yes, guns. You're all going to use your guns on it. What a marvellous idea. Right, well, this has gone much better so far. Well done, everybody. So it's down on the ground right now. Keep shooting it in the eyes for one hit point. Well done. Well done, me. I am carrying my weight on this occasion. Right, just reload and heal up a bit. Now, more of them are coming in, but what's coming in right now is the baby ones. So if we can just clear all of these guys out, there we go, 28 killed and, okay, Sulik is still trying to punch them, which is not great, so, okay, is it Sulik's turn to be an absolute cocky idiot? Unfortunately, I have no way of actually taking his fists away from him, so if he's determined to try and do it that way, I can't actually stop him. So, okay, I'll go 84 to the head in that case, and what did we do? Three hit points. Sadly, that is not great. Right, we'll just have to work with that. He's going to come towards me, which should give Vic a good chance to shoot him. That's nice. More of them, but two are dead. The Queen's blind, and you just shot me, didn't you? You just shot me for two-thirds of my health. Well done. Well bloody done. Sorry, you shot him for three and me for 36. Oh, good. This is going well so far. This is all just going spectacularly. Shoot it in the eyes, please. There we go. 50 hit points and it can't breathe anymore. That's how you do. Right, give up two action points for armor class. Hit for six. Hit for... Was that a critical? 11. Not crit. Not knocked down. Okay. And so far... What are you doing? Reloading. And that was... Okay, I think you just shot Sulik there. He's now focusing exclusively on eggs. Bloody hell. Guys, why are you all completely hopeless? And yeah, just keep going for the criticals in the face. That's the best bet we've got. That is 36. That is so close to dead right now. Seven hit points. Somebody just shoot it. Please, somebody just shoot the damn thing. Just finish it off however you want to. I don't care how. Just finish it before it kills me. It's about to get to critical and kill me, isn't it? And... It did, but that was a critical for only four, which was very lucky. And three! Three hit points! Didn't kill! Oh, that's just... That's just marvellous. Right, please just finish it off. Please just finish it off. It's dead. Okay, that's another one dead. Can we end combat for the time being? No, because I think the eggs count as hostile creatures. So that's... That's good. That's, no, 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 we're not going anywhere yet. We're not going anywhere yet. We're not cowarding out on this occasion. Well, we might do in a minute, but not quite this second. Right, is anyone actually left here who wants to, no, Vic, not again. Right, everybody after Vic. Vic's got a death wish. And bloody finally, Vic gets the kill there. Good, 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 good. Can we just chill out for a second? Yes, yes we can. 
And on top of that, oh, you want a medic? You want a medic, do you? Well, screw you. You want a medic? Don't go running off ahead. Right, okay. Everybody, chill out for a second. I can actually level up right now, which is really important. Oh, I get a perk. Right, pick well here. Pick well, because the fights are getting harder. Okay, bonus move, very tempting. Bonus range damage, very, very tempting as well. Oh, life giver's sort of tempting, though. I could do with just more hit points going forward. But, hang on. More criticals. An additional 5% chance to cause a critical hit. I'm kind of feeling that, you know. I really am feeling that. Let's see if there's anything else I like more. But I'm feeling like more criticals. Just keep stacking that more and more and more. Ooh, weapon handling. Plus three strength for the purposes of wielding weapons. So I could actually use good quality shotguns. But don't worry about that. Sooner or later, there's going to be power armor. That's going to boost my strength anyway. So that feels unnecessary. No, I'm definitely feeling more criticals is the thing. Actually, I do get a fair few criticals already. How about better criticals? Yeah, better criticals. We'll have one more criticals and one better criticals. And on top of that, I could do with a little bit more in the small guns if you'd be so kind. That would actually be great, but that's really starting to become painful to take. Okay, small guns up to 129 at the bare minimum. Get lockpick up to 102. That's good. And then aside from that... What's the next most important thing? Probably science. Sooner or later, science is going to be important. But actually, you know what? No, take a bit more speech. We can take at least a little bit more speech. Speech up to... Okay, speech won't go up any further, but whatever. We'll just take one more point of science then. Science is good too. There we go, science. Right, bit more guns, better criticals. Everything's going to be fine now. Right, let's go hunt down the queen. We've got to finish her off. I think she might still technically be at full health, so... Okay, charge, charge, charge. There we go. Yeah, she's going to start running away. She's just going to run away from us. That's her entire plan in life right now. It's just to run away. But I think she might have actually just run into a corner. So everybody after the queen. At this point, we just need to wail on her until she dies. But yeah, she's totally in a corner right now. So everybody be ready to basically just get her when she comes around the corner here. So end my turn right there, please. She'll probably have to come around over here. If you guys would like to come and help with this, that'd be great. Where's she right now? Oh yeah, she's trapped down over here. Right, in we go, in we go, in we go. So now, somehow I can't see her. How can I not see her right now? That, okay, hang on, where is she? She's... How could she not be in range? She's she's right there. All right, fine. Now she's standing next to me. Guys, trap her in the corner. Start wailing on her. I think she can't attack for some reason. Vic, I swear, if you wander off and cause trouble with more of them, I'm going to be so annoyed at you. Right, just start shooting her in the back and hope for criticals. So that's a three. But sooner or later, we'll actually get a critical. And now we've just made our criticals better. So they should do a lot more damage and... You guys are not going to bother getting involved. Right, good, 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 good. Right, out of ammo. Sorry, I forgot I needed to reload this damn thing. Go for an aim shot. Aim shots seem to, yeah, get the criticals more often. So, in the eyes. We've already hit the eyes, but we'll see. That's only six. Just wait, 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 wait. Sooner or later. Sooner or later she'll die. It's going to take a fair bit of ammo, but she will. There we go. That's what we need right there. So, 48 damage immediately. And she's been knocked to the ground. Vic and Sulik don't seem interested in getting involved in any of this business. Everyone else is actually showing up too. But you guys have... Right, now you've got 120 hit points. Have these guys recovered from any of their wounds? I'm not sure. Right, guys, you take care of that. I'll just keep working on the queen. Right, at this point, just stick with eye shots. And critically hitting the eyes for one hit point, knocking the icky stuff out of it. And Wanamingo was killed. Are we sure about that? Hang on. Didn't she have, like, 200 health or something? She... Okay. Are we sure she's dead? Are we 100%... Right, I just killed the queen. Because... This place is weird. Right, okay, everything's odd all of a sudden. I will say, Fallout 2 is a brilliant game, but sometimes its dungeons did boil down to, here is a giant pile of the same enemy, have fun chunking your way through them. Now, as I saw so very, very long ago, we've got ourselves a bunch of stuff here. So hang on, what's all of this? I can see the stuff I'm supposed to be picking up here. 
Is all of that the Metal Armor Mark II? Yeah, all of that's the same thing. Right, in which case, hang on, hang on, hang on. How good is Metal Armor Mark II? Because I suspect actually like Metal Armor and Future Fallout, it might not necessarily be that good. So yeah, that actually gets my armor class down a bit, so my chance to dodge goes down. But my resistances go crazy up, actually. Wow, that's that's a lot of damage threshold right there. I can't really say no to that. No, we're keeping that. That's pretty damn good, actually. Yeah, okay, fine. That's my armor from now on. Okay, much Wanamingo murder later. I think I've actually managed to take out all of them. But I'm going to be honest, that was just a lot of grind. In a similar way that that first dungeon back in Klamath was just a giant pile of mole rats and rats. This was just a giant pile of Wanamingos. Still, I think it's done now. That's good. And hello, we've got ourselves something in the mining machine here. Excavated chip. All right. Keep an eye on that. We might well be needing that in a minute. And, ah, if I want this mine to actually be operational again, got it. So obviously it helps my machine work, gotcha. Good, so now I can have a productive mine. But first, yeah, there's a bunch of ladders. How many are there? Three. Right, we got three here and there better not be another level. If there's another level of Wanamingos, screw it, I don't care. I just own this mine now. I'm not going to try and sell it back anymore. Oh my god, it's another level of Wanamingos. There's so many more Wanamingos. Right, okay, so, I've decided, screw it, I don't care anymore. Yeah, this I assume is going to be whatever the normal way in is. So I was supposed to come in this way and fight my way past everything and get to the queen at the end, but I didn't bother doing that, so, uh, while I would like to go and see what's actually in that desk over there, the easier way to do that would be to say, screw it, go out the way I came in, because I don't actually see anything to pick up in here, and then, yeah, once I'm done with that, I can just basically loop around to whatever the real thing is. So, everybody back down into the hole. Though I may as well check the other ladders just to see if they lead into any good loot at all. Not as far as I can tell, though one of them might bring me close enough by to... Don't! Okay, one more thing's gonna come and try and kill me. Fine, whatever. Gotta be honest, on that occasion, my team did an excellent job murdering this thing. Well done, guys. So that brings me back towards the middle, and yeah, now I can actually see what's going on right here with this here door and this here office and potentially this here valuable book. Oh, that's what I needed. Bunch of shotgun shells, first aid book, lovely, lovely stuff. And some stim packs too. Yeah, that I can deal with. And actually, a time bomb. I think about the time bomb is... I'm pretty sure that's worth a lot of money. Like, nearly as much money as I was going to make profiting off selling the mine. So, uh, screw it. This is just my mine now. I just live here. Everybody back to the surface, please. Except apparently this mine elevator doesn't work. So, if I own this mine, then why can't I use the mine elevator? That right back out the way we came in. Right, back to town. I'll sell all that stuff in a minute. And yes, I just cannot be bothered with more bloody Wanamingos. Instead, I need to find myself, yes, the person what done it. Because Morningstar script was found on some of these guys. I hear someone might want to talk to old Hawkswell. Someone volunteered to bring Obadiah to justice. Is that you? So, okay. Um, yeah, I'm looking for the miner that cut loose gal. So, did you just confess? I cut the bitch. She made a mistake she did. Right, so can I just arrest you? Yeah, you know what? You're just going to actually get yourself arrested right now. Taking me to jail. I'll come peaceably. No sense in making more trouble. Right, so this is interesting. I just walked in and he said, Well, I certainly did it and I'll come to jail. So, all right, I'll take you to jail, I suppose. Yep, he's now in jail. So that's good. Congratulations, you're now in jail. That was surprisingly easy. I was expecting a massive elaborate conspiracy where we needed to prove that someone from the Cocoa Weef mine planted some script from the other mine onto the body in order to cause political trouble, in order to further their agenda. But no, it was just some mad guy who immediately owned up to it. So that's good. And next mission from the Sheriff, bandit by the name of Frog Morton, over in the ruins of the Great Wanamingo. Oh, I just came from there. It's really boring. It's just full of endless numbers of Wanamingos. Right. 
I'll go and take care of him, because at the bare minimum, he's not a Wanamingo, so I like him better already. Um, slight problem though, I'd like to get my 14mm pistol back off Sulek, but there's no way to make him stop using his best weapon. So, how do I actually get him to not use that without giving him an even better weapon that... Uh-oh. Right, he might just be using the 14mm pistol now, because I'm not sure how to actually get it off him. Right, well I guess now I'm using the 10mm SMG, because I can't get my favourite pistol back off Sulik, so that's good. And I've given the shotgun shells I found over to Vic, so he's got 20 more shells there, but he's also got the, uh, yeah, the Magnum Revolver. So he's not- yes, I know you're injured, I don't care, shut up Vic. So, everything's under control, now it's time to go and have a little chat with the mine owners up north, because yeah, I'd like to just get their take on a few bits and pieces, and no, 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 don't actually, like, begin a war or anything, that's fine. And I will at least rest until morning as well, that'll get a tiny bit of health back, and on top of that, yeah, people will actually be up and about, not asleep, lovely. Right, there's a little office off the side of the Morningstar mine, so I'm guessing you're Crazy Dan McGrew or something. And hello there, Dangerous Dan McGrew, lovely. So, you, my good man, you want New Reno to take over the town, don't you? One thing's for sure, I could sure use a new control chip for my excavator machine. Ooh, I've got one of those, but actually, I'm not giving it to you just now, because potentially that might mean you take over the town, which I'm not sure I want. Not till you tell me why you like New Reno. Well, we know why you like New Reno. You like flooding the town with drugs, because they keep your miners nice and placid, but I'm not sure I'm so keen about that. So here we go. His choice for running Redding is, of course, New Reno. And he thinks if there's no New Reno, you can kiss Redding goodbye. So what exactly do we mean there? So if the NCR takes over, Redding's going to be put under their thumb hard. They aren't big on personal freedom. They're going to turn Redding into another splotch on the new California Republic map. The Redding I know will be gone forever. Bit of a flimsy reason to be honest there, but okay. And as for Vault City, bigots would turn Redding into a slave labour camp. He's not wrong. He's 100% right about that. And New Reno's strong enough to protect Redding from the other two. Is it though? Is New Reno really strong enough to stand up to the NCR? Because in terms of population, we know the NCR is like 10 times bigger and has an army. So I'm not convinced that makes a huge amount of sense. And there we go, confirmation. If his mind prospers, his political clout goes up and thus New Reno will win. So I want to make sure he doesn't get the excavator chip. At least until I can speak to Marge LaBarge and get her take on the NCR. Here we go, covered in rock dust, this will be Marge LaBarge right here. I'll give you a thousand dollars for that excavator chip. How did you know I had that on me? In a town this size, everyone knows more than they want to about everybody else. How about it? Okay, thousand dollars, right here, right now. I don't think I want to sell right now, instead, I want to know about the NCR, because I want to know who I'm backing. She's not actually willing to speak to me because she knows I've got the chip, unfortunately. Right, so I kind of need to make a decision right now. And even though I don't know much about the NCR, I do know that they're not flooding the town with drugs in order to actually get this town hooked, in order to make them nice and dependent and pliable, and I know they don't want to turn this town into slaves. Life in the NCR isn't always great, but it's better than what I've heard. So in which case, yeah, you know what? I'll make the sale. There you go. Here's the chip. I'll take $1,000 for that. Lovely. Now I've given her the chip she's willing to speak to me. She doesn't really have a reason why the NCR is the best bet. It's just her opinion. But honestly, I'm pretty happy with the decision I've made right there. And she also mentioned a flying machine. So a couple of my miners were flying a bit themselves and jetting around, if you catch my drift, a while back. They swore up and down they saw a ship fly past going southwest. Okay, that's of interest. Southwest is... yeah, that's the direction I sort of came from, so... right. No idea what that's gonna be. Could well just be a UFO, because aliens are canon in Fallout. And best as I can tell, that's all from her, lovely. Though I can't help but notice, yes, actually, the graveyard's round back over here. So, ah. Hang on. I see eggs. So, I'm guessing... yeah. There's totally Wanamingos going on. And I just picked up 2,500 XP as well. Right. Investigate this open grave right here and... Okay. This, as it turns out, is not actually a grave. Instead, 
it's one of the tunnels over here. Right, okay, so these are the tunnels I cleared out. This is the mole rat tunnels. So in which case, where does this lead? Because if I was in the graveyard a moment ago, then logically, I would be coming up... This would bring me into like one of the... Ah, this is the well, isn't it? Yes, okay. So, the well, the graveyard, gotcha. Well, we know that R1 Amingo's floating around, and I need to actually wait in order to get my health back anyway, so how about I just wait until midnight, and we see if anything shows up? And the answer so far is... Not as far as I can see. There is definitely an eggshell that will be consistent with one Amingo's floating around here. And this open grave does absolutely go down into the tunnel system where they live, but I have taken them out. Right, okay, one more thing to check out in this area then, and that is uh, the storage sheds. Which I'm guessing could be... Okay, those seem like bad places that I wouldn't necessarily want to actually go into. They seem a little bit on the, you know, radioactive side, and... Uh, I don't know, maybe that's the broken lift that actually goes down to... Alright, well done, you found another door. That might be the broken lift that goes down to the lift that didn't work on the first level of the Wanamingo mine. I've no idea. Also, I think Sulik just managed to walk through some goo. Well done, Sulik. And another mine that seems to be broken for the time being. Fine, not sure there's anything I can do here. Once again, my spirit touches you from the void. Oh, hello there! Chosen, our crops fail, our reserves are meager. Return to us with the gag. Your failure is our last light. Yes, I'm working on it. All right, I'm trying to find where it actually came from. You just interrupted my camping. Now I'm not healing anymore. Boo. Look, I'm doing what I can. I will find it when I find it. The lead you gave me was absolutely flipping hopeless. All right, no one knows where the bloody flask came from. Right, back to this spot over here, but now there's a Frog Morton. The question is, uh, which one of these guys is actually Frog Morton? So, rough looking person, rough looking person. Whoever Frog Morton is, he's probably going to have like a unique description to him. So, if we just go and assassinate him without taking out the rest of the gang. Ah, there was a house down here. I'm guessing he's in the house. Now, are these guys going to turn on me the moment I actually get around here? And how many of them are there? There are, well, it looks like only two there. And then, ah, hang on. Are you going to be my target? No, you're a rough looking person too. So, all right, wherever he is, maybe he's in this house, which so far I haven't actually seen a way to get into because it's beyond, yeah, various barbed wire fences, but... Maybe there's a... There might be a door, like, right over there. I'm not sure. Right. Let's just see if these guys fire on me automatically or not. So, not yet. Not yet. And they must have seen me, right? You guys have seen me by now, surely. And flee before me, puny one. Someone just yelled. So that's... That's interesting. Right. I'm just going to put a bullet in him. Let's just see how tough he is. So the answer is 35 hit points with a single shot and he's already down on the ground. I'm going to back off over here for the time being just to basically let the rest of my team catch up. So end of my turn right there. That's fine. Rest of team just runs around the corner. You guys basically are now following on after me. And no, no, no. Let them come to us. We want them to come around the corner. I'll end my turn, take a bunch of armor class, potentially, oh, here they come, and this is exactly what we wanted. So now, now we can start taking them out nice and easy. And, ooh, bloody hell, well done right there, another big critical. Right, I like fighting these guys much more than fighting Wanamingos. Now you've got yourself 35 hit points and you've got yourself a sawn off shotgun. So probably the best thing I can do is uh, just put some bullets in ya and hope for the critical. So that was 10, and that was another 7. He comes in point-blank range, but doesn't do that much damage, actually. Another point-blank shot, but my armor is really taking the brunt of that. Oh, I love that. And one of you has been hit for 16. You are dead right now. Good, good, good. I'm going to go over to a single shot right in the eyes. 81. And was that... Oh, oh, yeah. I'll do that, thank you. Blinded, 21 hit points, 
killed. Uh, time for me to just back off a little bit. You guys, uh, finish the rest off for me. You're gonna run over to me. Wow, I just got sucker punched in the back of the neck. Lovely. More of them coming up right now, but it feels like we can definitely handle this. You've been knocked to the ground. Uh, these guys are gonna have a ton of shotgun ammo on them, which is gonna really work for me. 95 and 7. And I need 5 action points. Why do I not have... Ah, because I was knocked down. Fine. Uh, in which case, as they're coming from that direction, just run more in this direction. So they're now running out onto the street. He's going to be able to... Ah, he's just running off at this point. And uh, this might be a really good time for a burst fire momentarily. Where are they? No, unfortunately, there's too many of them standing close by to Vic, which is a bit of a shame. So I could go for... Screw it! Shot to the groin! And that was just 10 hit points. Fine. I'm going to back off as they seem to have shotguns. So at range, they're not going to be as effective. And Vic was hit for 11. Vic was hit for 14. Honestly, screw Vic. Sulik misses repeatedly because he's not very good with guns for some reason. Despite the fact he says he is. So just keep putting some bullets in over there. That was 11 blowing through armor. And I just missed. And I am very worried that... Oh, is Vic all right? Vic just got killed. Well done, Vic. Okay, so I just actually won the first stage of that fight. And then, right, then Vic went crazy. Then that guy woke up. And now we're fighting again. So this is all fascinating stuff. Right, now he's dead. Vic, are you feeling okay? Okay, Vic's now feeling fine. Oh, and hello, combat shotgun. Right. Now, this could be very, very useful. And actually, hang on. Minimum strength of five, not six. Well, 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 well. I might have just made a new best friend. Oh, yeah, five to 25, and I can actually use the damn thing. Love it. Oh, and it's got a burst mode too. I love it already. Oh, hello. There was just a really, really big explosion. Right. There are traps around here. Someone has trapped up this whole area all of a sudden. That's, that's a concern. Also, I see a raised plate. Okay, that's probably bad. So I want to not step on that, right? If I manage to just step around that, you guys are about to step on that, aren't you? No, no, you didn't. Well done. Okay, quick rest break later. And it's time for us to step outside and murder these people. And never mind. They decided to run up and murder me first. Luckily, I am wearing really, really damn nice armor right now. So I am going to... Oh, there's so many of them inside that building. Right, so I found him then. Right, shoot you. Right in the eyes. How do you feel about that? 46 hit points worth of damage, no protection there, serious damage. As a result of that, he's down to, he's almost dead already. Love it. Right, fall back. Guys, I'm going to need you involved there. And he's gone to go and get his friends, I'm guessing. I'm about to be, ooh, nice shot. Well done. Sulik sadly missed, but I can potentially now finish him off if I'm lucky. And is he dead? I think he might be dead. Right, gained five karma as well. But now I know how many there are in there. There are five, including a boss. Gotcha. There are more coming, though. I might just want to... No, don't run ahead. Guys, come on. You know what I was about to say? I was about to say we could hold back here and let them come to us one by one. You know, play it smart. But, all right, fine. I guess we could play it incredibly dumb as well. Sulik, did you... Sulik just ran in there by himself. I hate Sulik so much sometimes. Is he about to be immediately killed? Well, actually, no, because as always, they're coming for me. So now, now there might be a- Oh, blimey, Sulik is- Sulik's just opening fire on them. Right, there's there's a big crowd of them. I need to clear this guy out of the way. Don't know where Vic is. Hopefully, somewhere nearby. And oh, that'll do the job. Yes, very, very nice indeed. So, he's now dead, and I now need to get into a position to potentially get a massive burst shot against all of these guys. So, in we go, and yeah, I see him. I see him. This is going to really hurt. I'm about to die. I'm going to die. Luckily, the boss has gone over there. Sulik can really take a battering. So, Sulik is actually in a decent position, all things considered. And it's my turn again because of my high sequence. Good. Now, 
How are we going to do this? Because they're really nicely lined up, aside from the fact Sulik is also there. Also, here's something interesting. The basic guys actually have 70 hit points. The boss only has 60, which is very, very interesting indeed. And as for Vic, he's just hanging out of the bag, not getting involved. Which is a smart thing to do, I suppose. That's just, you know, I might have just hoped for something a bit more on the useful side. Right. I'm going to take a step over here. And then if I actually try and take... Oh, I don't have a good shot here. Right. I might be able to finish this guy off in one go. And I think he is... Yes, he is dead. These criticals are starting to be seriously hardcore. I should probably give myself a reload, take a step backwards, and then hope my armor keeps me alive. And Sulik is being hit pretty hard. He needs to reload. He's doing some good work right there. The 14mm is a good pistol. Next up, I can actually get myself... Hang on, I need to... I can't actually scan these guys, so I don't know which one's the most dangerous one without taking a step forward. I think this one's the one that's been hit. So I'm going to take a shot right there. So, 17. And again, please. Please kill him. No, 13. And... He's coming in to handle this by... Oh, hang on, Sulek. Sulek. Oh, I'm very worried about Sulek. Sulek has got to be in bad shape. Oh, Vic's bothered showing up. Yay! Sulek managed to miss, though. That's that's less good. Now, I could critical the boss, but i got to feel like... Hang on, I need to take a... I need to take a step forward so I can... I still can't see. Oh no. Sulik, how are you doing? You've still got 41 health, which is basically nearly as much as me. So I really shouldn't be worried about you. Instead, I should actually go for... Boss in the eyes! And did you just miss? And Gang Thug was hit instead. Honestly, we still hit someone. It's not that bad. Um... Don't want to reload. No, take the extra dodge, actually. End my turn there. 28% chance to dodge. Sulik is just being shot. Luckily, I'm drawing some fire too. This guy's actually getting involved at this point. I can't even see what's going on, but I'm sure it's good. How are you actually doing? Yeah, you're still at full health because I missed you somehow. I need to start putting some bullets into these guys. And how are you? Hit for 12. Right, I'm going to just start spreading the love a bit. And they're still not dead. Sulik's still actually really in trouble, actually. He can only have, like, 20 hit points left at this point. He's actually decided he's going to charge at them right now. So that's good. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Right, okay. Keep taking out this guy. He can't take too much. I missed. How much more can you take? I was 95% chance to hit. Vic's being hit. That guy's running away. I can take it. I'm wearing good armor. They all seem to be running right now. Gang Thug hit for 15. At this point, yeah, just go for a massive hit. This guy, in the eyes. And he doesn't have... That was not in the eyes. That wasn't in the eyes at all. But screw it. It's said in the eyes, despite the fact his arm fell off. I just need to back up over here. Vic, can you finish off that guy, please? Oh, I'm still being shot, but my armor means I can take it. And go back over to, yeah, normal shots. This guy can't have much at this point, right? He is at, wow, he's still got 43 hit points. Okay, uh, go for the criticals if we can. And another big critical saves the day. That is nice. That just got him. Just got him. Right, in which case, um, reload and then head in this direction. I think he's, yeah, the boss is dead at this point. So now... Where's Sulek? Does anyone know where Sulek is? Right, go over to my flimsier longer range weaponry. Because now, I need to start taking you guys out. I can basically just start... Ooh, that's a good shot right there. And another one. Oh, two for two. I am a badass. That was pretty badass. And another level for that as well. Right, time to actually get ourselves looting here. What have you guys got? Ooh, hello. You guys have got yourselves... I don't know what that is, but it looks badass, doesn't it? Strength requirement of 05. I'm liking strength requirement of 05. This is caseless cartridge consisting of a block of propellant with bullets, something, 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 something. Right, you know what? It'll do. I'll take it. This here is going to be my new toy. Okay, so that new thing I just picked up. Range of 35. Damage, however, is... 
Not exactly spectacular, to be honest. I'm not actually that convinced by that. I mean, it's better than the 10mm SMG that I've actually returned back to Sulik at this point, but we'll give it a go, but I'm not 100% convinced here. Also, don't forget to read books. I've got a first aid book, and I've also got a scout handbook, so give both of them a read. And with another level up already, oh yeah, I'm feeling good about life right now. Don't need to worry about repair, Vic can do that for me. Science probably just slowly ticking up, not a bad idea at all. Small guns, do I want that to just keep going up? That is, that's really expensive to keep going up at this point. But, I feel like it's kind of keeping me alive too. I'll get that up to 135 at least, that's probably good enough. And a bit more speech too, so I can avoid problems in the first place. And uh, only up to 108 though. Outdoorsman, screw it, 47 is a nice number. And I really need to make a trip back to the doctor here. Because I actually need to, yeah, buy any remaining stim packs he's got at this point. I think I've already bought a few of them, but... How have we got? Four! You know what? I will gladly buy all four. I'll do you a trade for $65, a beer, two knives, two flares, and a shotgun. Good? Yeah, good. And you know what? I will gladly pay $100 to just fix up everybody without having to wait around on the wait screen. And yeah, looking at this, we're actually pretty much done with Reading. The only thing left now is to clear out the mine, which I cannot be bothered to do. Because all that seems to get me is, yeah, about a thousand, thousand five hundred, maybe two thousand dollars more. I've got like five thousand dollars on me already. I'm absolutely fine. I can do without that. Yeah, Fallout 2, one of its weaknesses. Where did you get that sledgehammer from? Hand it over. You're not using a sledgehammer. Never mind, that's still the 14mm. It just looked a bit weird from that angle. Fine, he's not using the sledgehammer. Yeah, I will say, the dungeons back in these days did just seem to be, here's a maze, here's a pile of enemies, have fun engaging in giant piles of combat. So, if all I get out of it is a bit more money, I'm happy to just bypass some of that. And yes, indeed, we've made our choice with this place. We've managed to actually, yeah, give a significant amount of political clout to the woman who supports the NCR. Despite the fact we haven't visited the NCR yet. So, when we get to the NCR, I might well come to regret that decision. I don't know. Still, we're pretty much done here. Let's see where our next logical destination would be. So, we came from due west, the Umbra tribe on the coast of the Pacific, not the Atlantic. The Atlantic's the other one as the comments took a lot of glee in pointing out. Yeah, Pacific, that's the one by California. I know how America works. I was told a spaceship was going southwest, so I could head southwest to look for it. Alternatively, New Reno is extremely close by, and Broken Hills are close by as well. So, yeah, we'll go in one of those two directions next time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure which. I'll make a decision between now and then. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nut. And this has been Fallout 2. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.